Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make um, a crisscross card, I think it's called. I watched um, Rachel Tessman make one recently um, <coughs> using the hand penned designer series paper from the new annual catalogue. Um, and I thought I'd have a go. I haven't got one to show you. I'm just going to go for it. Um, I've changed up the measurements slightly to um, allow for our A4 sizes. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use um, one of the new ink colours, which is, um, what's it called? Evening Evergreen. And I've got a full piece of A4 and we'll need it all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it down to 11 and a half on the long side. Just cut a little smidgen off. And then I'm going to chop it in half at four and one eighth. Like that. Then we need to score. I hope you can see that. Yeah, I think so. The light's... Um, shining in my face through the window um so i'm a bit blinded by it so i'm going to score that in half now at five and three quarters is that right five and three quarters yeah will be won't it so just score that in half and do the same with this piece There we go. And then where the two scores are on this side, I'm going to flip one over so that they're facing each other and put the two together. And then we need to cut diagonally. So we're going to go from the centre score line to the bottom corner. So make sure they're both right together. And the, you want the score just touching that, the um, channel there and the point in this channel here. And then put the blade in about halfway. Go up and then down. So those are your spare pieces, we don't need those. I'll put that out of the way for a minute. So now, I'm gonna fold those and burnish them on that score line, making sure they, it's equal, it's um, meeting at the bottom there. And fold this one the same, like that. Oops, wrong way. That one went that way. And the two will fit together like that. Okay, so this is the crisscross bit and it'll be a pocket card. So we'll put something inside there for you to write on. Okay, so I'll put that to one side for a minute. And we need some designer series paper. And I actually cut this before I'd um, decided I was going to make a video. So this piece is three and seven eighths by five and a half. And if you've got a directional print or you've got flowers, you need to make sure that your um, the piece that you're going to have on the front, you've got the flowers the right way around. And if you've got stripy stuff on the back, make sure it's it's going in the right direction. So this is going to go on here. And that one will go on there. So again, all I've done is cut the piece three and seven eighths by five and a half. Then put it in the trimmer again and cut diagonally. So we've got one piece going that way and the other piece will go that way. Okay. So, let's just put it all together. 
it's really quite easy. Um, so this is going to go on the top of there like that. And then this will come over this way and that will go over that way. So we'll glue these two together first. I'll just stick some Tombow on the back. And then I'll line it up. press like that okay so I'm not going to stick anything to there because this will slide in and out and we'll we'll stop something on that so now we need to do these diagonal pieces So this will leave just a tiny border all the way around the outside. So I'll just get my um, silicone mat and then I can glue right up to the cord, up to the um, pointy bits. So we'll do this one first. And then we'll do the other one. So then they'll go like that. Okay. So now we need to put some adhesive on these bits. So I'm going to use tear and tape. Um, I think that might be easier. And we'll put the tear and tape on these side pieces. So just run it along the bottom. Chop that off. Right. And then we'll rub, rub some. So sticky, this stuff it just sticks to you as you're trying to put it down. Stuck to my grid paper. Okay, so I'll just give that a rub. Press it down. And get the takey pick tool. Pull the backing paper off. And then that one. We'll go that way and then this one. We'll go the other way. Right now. So there we go. We've got a pocket now to put the card. 
slip the card in and out of like that it's really really easy i was surprised just how easy it is so let's move these out of the way so now for the decoration i've been um playing with the pansy petals um bundle pansy yeah that's what it's called we've got the pansy patch stamp set and we've got the pansy pansy dies um and don't be put off by these they're not half as complicated as they look it's just a um a case of building the layers up um but it is really quite easy once you've cut them all out just have a play with it first um but obviously when the new catalog uh in the new catalogue, these will be together as a bundle and you'll be able to buy, you get 10% off these if you buy them together. Um, and I would recommend them. They are really, really nice to play with. Stamp beautifully. Um, some of the flowers are sort of two and three step stamping. Um, but it is really easy to line up. So, I'll just put those to the side for now. So I've been <coughs> playing about and I've cut some from design, some of the pansies from the designer series paper. And I've cut some of the leaves. So I've got some of those. Um, and I've cut some stitched scallops, what they call, stitched so sweetly dies. Um, Cause I don't know which size I'm going to use or which configuration. Shall we go white? Or shall we go very vanilla? I'm actually thinking very vanilla might be better than white on that one. Because this is, this is sort of a paler green, but it looks more of a creamy colour. Let's have a look. I just don't know. And I've cut out one in soft, one of these in soft succulent, and one in evening evergreen. And I just thought I'd have a bit of a play. And I've, I've also played with some of these. Um, I made some swap cards recently, um, and I just put these together in a few of the different colours, um, the die cuts. But it is really easy. But if I've got one here, I'll show you. I'll show you how easy they are. Let's have a look. See what we've got. I've got another one of those. Oh, I don't appear to have one. Let me show you though. This. <laughs> Whether you can see, this is all embossed. And then this bit just fits around the edge like that. And you just glue that around the edge. And then these bits, you need two of these. These go underneath with edge pieces on. It's really, really easy. So you can see on this one here. And there's another little piece that goes in the middle. But it is easy. I was a bit worried at first, but um, I really enjoyed playing with it. So let's have a look, see, what shall we do? Shall we do white or shall we do very vanilla? Decisions, decisions. Let's see, I've got a very vanilla piece. Let's see what that looks like inside it. I think I prefer the very vanilla. So I'll just chop that one down a bit because it's been, because we've um, taped it across the bottom, obviously it won't go right the way in. So I'll just chop, um, 
What did I chop that down to? Three and five eighths, I think it was. Let's have a look if that will fit. There we go. So we'll use that one. So we'll put these white ones out of the way. <clears throat> and then I think I'll stick with the evening evergreen. So this, I think, is the second largest um, stitch so sweetly. So let's have a look at the sentiments. We've got little things you do make such a big difference. Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Love you much. And a little hello from me to you. So I was thinking of layering these up and then arranging some flowers around this side. So we want something that will fit sort of there. So I think it's going to have to be happy birthday. So um, whether you've seen, this is the new way that um, stamping up our printing these cases. Instead of it being printed on the um, acetate, the pictures are printed on the inside of the stamp case on there, so, so you know exactly where to put everything. But I st I've still been keeping the piece of acetate over the top just to protect them a bit from dust. Um, so let's find the happy birthday. It's a really nice font. So I think we'll stamp that in, we'll stamp it in Evening Evergreen, I think. I think this is going to be one of those um, really good background colours. Um, you know, like Night of Navy and base colours rather than background colours, sorry. Um, I think it's a really nice option for a change. So I'll stamp it over to the side and I hope it's straight. I do like that font, it's really pretty. Shall we stamp something on the... I could stamp a little hello from me to you on the um, bottom of here. Let's do that as well. So obviously you can't stamp it too high up because it'll be seen. We'll stamp that down there like that. And we could stamp a flower on it, couldn't we? And I'll show you how to line it up. Let's have a look. Shall we what colour shall we have? So we have a pale papaya one. I like this colour. Just get some more blocks. So, first of all, Now there's one that's um, fairly flat, which is the background colour. And then there's one where you can see lots of indentations. So, we'll try this one. And I'll stamp it here. I hope it doesn't show. There you go. It was not meant to be um, a completely stamped image. It's a sort of watery effect. 
and then this one you just stamp over the top I'll just excuse my head for a minute it's quite easy to line up there you go can you see and then the piece in the middle is And that you can see where it fits sort of in that space there you go and there's another one there might actually be another one there is let's have a look where that can go should do that a different color should do that the evening evergreen just see what that looks like. I know it wouldn't really be green in the middle, but I think that one just goes over the top like that. So it's really easy. You just need to play about with it. And of course, you can do lots and lots of different colour combinations we've got something like 50 different colours haven't we so that can slide in there now like that there we go and we'll decorate the label so I'll add some Tombow to the back of this And then line that up in the middle. Like that. And we'll just have a play with these flowers and see what they look like. I'm sort of thinking. With a few leaves that sort of arrangement what do you think I don't know why I'm asking you what you think you can't answer me can you so we'll fix this to that first um, I think I'll add that with dimensionals so we'll just put them around these three edges I hope you've all already got your um, new annual catalogues. If you haven't and you're in the UK, um, just drop me a message. I'll be more than happy to um, send you a catalogue. Just add that there. And all the products that I'm using today, you can find in my online store. There'll be a link underneath the video um, and all the measurements will be over on my blog and there'll be a link to that underneath the video. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd be really grateful if you could. I think we'll put that on dimensionals too. Um, <clears throat> I'm always really grateful for people subscribing and supporting me. Tuck that one underneath, I think. So I'll put a little bit of glue on there. No, it needs a it needs a dimensional as well, doesn't it? Dimensional on the bottom of it. Tuck that under like that. I'll probably use dimensionals on all of them. 
And then we'll have another one. On this side and have a couple of leaves as well. One coming out there. I had another one. What have I done with that one? I had a darker one somewhere. Where that go? There it is, it's hiding. Actually, that's too dark over there. Now, as you were, go back to that one, I think. Um, <clears throat> we've got a great joining offer on at the moment if you're um, thinking about joining Stampin' Up you don't have to make videos or write a blog or sell anything um, you can join just for the discount which is 20% on everything you buy once you've had your starter kit and at the moment from the 4th of May to the 31st of May We've got a joining offer, which is £154 worth of product from the catalogue. Any product of your choice for £99. And that includes shipping um, and everything that you'll need to get you started. So if you're interested, um, send me a message and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Um, it's the best thing I ever did. Um, and it's really kept me going during um, during lockdown. It's given me something to do and something to take my mind off things and keep me occupied. I've now got a shed load of um, cards to dispose of, <laughs> but that's another story. So there you go. Hope you like this crisscross card. I think it's really quite sweet. Um, and you could make it with any designer series paper that you like. So I hope you like it and I hope you'll give it a try. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Um, and if you've got any queries about the joining offer or new catalogue or about anything that I've made or anything that I've talked about, just drop me a message and I'd be more than happy to get back to you. So hope to see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.